Hi everybody, Carl Schuf here from Greensock, and today I want to go over just a little bit of an issue that you might run into if you're trying to split text into lines that contains nested elements. So what I want to show you is that we have some text here that's highly formatted with span, strong, m, and a link, and I can break that apart into characters awesomely, we can break it apart into words, get some cool animations, but notice when I break it into lines that you get this odd sort of a split here, okay? You won't expect this period to be hanging here in all this blank space. So what I'm going to do is just explain why this happens and what you can do to get around it. In this much simpler demo, I'm going to show you that I have two lines of text and I have a link that wraps onto two lines. Just like before, I can break apart into characters and I can break apart into words, but even splitting these two lines into lines gives me this, okay? I get this really awkward space here. So you may say, why did it split two lines into three lines? Well, I'm going to first jump into DevTools and notice that we have line one and line two, okay? So that text was split into two lines. Inside of line one, div, we have split text supports nested tags, and then we have this anchor tag here, so you can maintain links, okay? And so the entire link is part of the first line. To even further display this, what I'm going to do is go to my CSS panel, and I'm just gonna paste in some code that's going to highlight the lines and that anchor tag a little bit more. So I'm gonna run again, and notice that when I break apart into lines, each line is highlighted in red, okay? So it's actually, again, two lines, and you'll see that that link wraps onto two lines, basically, all right? And since line one is a block level element, that's where all that extra space is that's pushing the next line down. So the main issue here is that when split text encounters a nested tag, like a bold M or an anchor tag, it needs to put the entire tag on the line that it's first encountered on, okay? Now you may be saying, well, why don't you intelligently split apart this tag here so that these four words are in line one and then this last word here is in line two? Well, there's a few reasons why we don't do that. Let's jump over to another demo and I'm going to show you what would happen if we did that, okay? The biggest problem would be that when I roll over the link here, we literally have two different links here. So rolling over this part is gonna look weird if you don't get the hover state over here. And even more difficult, we'll have situations where maybe this element here has an ID on it, right? And if you split an element with an ID into two pieces, then you might have the same ID in two different elements. And that's no good. Also, people commonly style elements using nth child selectors. So if you start adding more elements, you're going to break up those selectors and it's going to be a mess. Also, if you start to consider that this nested element like this link might break onto two or three lines, then it becomes even more problematic where those lines are going to go. It's probably going to be fairly uncommon that you have a very long link like this that does happen to fall right where a line break occurs. But when it happens, there is something you can do. What I'm going to do is take this style for my links and I'm going to add display inline block. Now the next time I run, before the text even gets split, the browser says, hey, you know what? This big chunk of text can't fit on line one due to the width of the apparent container, so it's gonna put it on line two. And then when it comes time to split into lines, it's exactly where you expect it, all right? I'm gonna go back to our more complex demo, and I'm gonna do something similar. I'm gonna go to the CSS panel, and you'll see where I have my link. We're just going to do display, inline block. So notice this big space here. I'm going to run. The browser says, hey, you know what? That inline block element needs to go on this line. And then when I split into lines, it works fine. All right. So hopefully that helps you understand the issues and a little bit of a way of get around them. We think you guys are really going to have fun with split text, especially with this new support for nested tags. Happy tweening.